Exercise Geogong is our longest standing mine warfare and clearance diving exercise. It was established in 1988 and uh, this is the 15th time that we've run Exercise Geogong in Australia. Main valve open with 2.0 bar. Traditionally we've invited a lot of international participants um, and this year is no exception so we've got seven countries represented in Geogong 15, um, obviously showcasing the beautiful city of Hobart. Visibilities um, all over the place in Hobart, so one day it can be a few metres, the next day you can't see anything, so which is very similar to what we're used to at home. My major objective for the exercise is to um, integrate, you know, the seven nations that we've got represented. Uh, so making sure that we're working as a as a cohesive team throughout the two week period, and just meeting our tactical aims, which is to clear those maritime trading routes and as, as I said in this case we're focused on Derwent River and Frederick Henry Bay. We'll start off by doing uh, Remus operations which is our underwater vehicle and that will do some uh, seabed surveys and hopefully from those surveys we'll um, pick up some contacts, some mine like objects and then we will go and investigate them ourselves uh, using our rebreather diving set and our underwater handheld sonars. Over the years uh, when we've done this uh, in a real sense, um, we've had to do it in conjunction with our, with our closest allies. And so you, th you look at places like uh, Christchurch uh, earthquake in New Zealand, um, tsunami, major tsunami you know, in, the, in the Pacific region, South China Sea, Japanese tsunami. We've come together as collaborative units and to do that in an effective way we need to continually exercise um, those processes. So when we do do it for real, we're on the front foot.